accepting her unprecedented appointment as the first director of the Women's Army Auxiliary Corps on May 16, 1942, Oveda Kolpabi stated, You have said that the Army needs the Corps. That is enough for me. In many ways, this sentiment sums up the extraordinary life of service given to her country by Colonel Oveda Kolpabi. Her leadership, insight, and determination forever changed the landscape of women's roles in the United States of America. Born and raised in Texas, Hobby was appointed parliamentarian of the Texas House of Representatives before she was 21 years old. She worked in a variety of political offices and was elected state president of the League of Women Voters. When her career turned to publishing, Hobby soon became an assistant editor of the Houston Post. Around the same time, she married former Texas Governor William Hobby and became the mother of two children. In 1941, Oveda Kolpabi was asked to serve as the Chief of the Women's Interest Section of the War Department Bureau of Public Relations. Shortly afterwards, the Army Chief of Staff, General George C. Marshall, asked her to participate in the congressional hearings concerning the establishment of the Women's Army Auxiliary Corps, or WAC. When it came time to select a director of the WAC, Mrs. Hobby was a perfect choice. She had a proven record of achievement but also the femininity and grace that would appeal to small-town and middle-class America. Oveda Kolpabi believed strongly in the concept of a women's army and the obligation to serve. She stated, We are in it for the defense of the ideals we hold dear. We have a common cause, the cause of human decency, and the harder we work, the fewer lives will be lost. Her passion and sincerity resonated with the American public. In her role as director, Colonel Hobby meticulously and with great personal sacrifice oversaw the creation and implementation of the Corps. She had the monumental task of establishing procedures and policies for the recruitment, training, administration, discipline, assignment, and discharge for women in the Women's Army Corps. In two short years, she raised an army of women, building the strength of the Corps to over 100,000. She worked tirelessly to ensure that Army women were supported, respected, and utilized properly to contribute effectively to the war effort. She made it possible for women to perform in over 400 non-combat military jobs during World War II, and to serve at posts throughout the United States and in almost every overseas theater. In a now famous speech to the first WAC officer candidate class, Hobby said, We shall not fail in our trusteeship for the American women of the future, wherever you serve, whether here, in the field, or abroad, you are dedicated to the preservation of a free way of life. This must be our main objective until the war against the Axis is won and we build a peace upon the unconditional surrender of our enemies. We shall pay our debt to democracy we shall keep our date with destiny. When she resigned from the Army in 1945, Hobby was awarded the Distinguished Service Medal by General Marshall. This was the highest military decoration given for meritorious service, and Oveda Kolpabi was the first and only WAC to receive the medal during World War II. In the years after the war, Hobby continued her career of service. She was named the editor and publisher of the Houston Post and ran several radio stations. In 1953, she became the first secretary of the newly formed Department of Health, Education, and Welfare. Until her passing in 1995, Oveda Kolpabi demonstrated exceptional public service and professional accomplishment, her leadership and commitment helping to form a more perfect union.